Greetings, fellow captains. Today, we'll talk about possible tactical approaches for another in-game map. The concept of this naval arena was suggested by players at the World of Warships Cartographer Contest in September 2015. The map recreates a real location near the famous Japanese island. Meet Okinawa in this episode of Map Tactics. At the moment, the map is only available in domination mode. Okinawa is designed for tier 9 and 10 battles. Its size is 42 by 42 kilometers. This means Japanese battleship Yamato, whose range of fire may be improved to 32 kilometers, can engage enemy ships from the very start of the battle. Visually, it can be divided into three zones. Let's start from the bottom. There we have Key Area C. The vast open sea around it is quite suitable for battleships that have a large turning circle radius. These giants can feel pretty confident here, cutting through the waves and raining heavy shells upon their enemies. In the center of the map, we have Key Area B. In many ways, this zone is similar to the previous one. The only difference is that from the northwest, it's protected by a large island. And from the southeast, from Area C, it's all open to enemy fire. Also, this zone is the closest one to both teams at the beginning of battle. And the fighting usually begins here. But we'll talk about this a bit later. A special place on the map is Key Area A, located among a small group of islands. Capturing it is a challenging tactical mission. While the island that divides A and B only appears low, it completely cuts Key Area A from the rest of the map. The island is too wide for battleships at Area C to see and aim at enemies behind it. The whole place is picturesque. Multiple bays cut into the islands and provide good cover where you can hide, waiting for the enemy and enjoying the view of the sakura trees, which grow on the hillsides in abundance. But there's usually little time for meditation. Battles in this zone don't last long. It's where courageous cruisers unleash their powerful payload. Cunning destroyers make surprise attacks. This is why battleships should avoid sailing between these islands alone because five out of eight cruisers at Tier 9 and 10 have torpedoes as well. At the moment, there are two main tactics on Okinawa, and none of them start with capturing Key Area B. So place your hands on the steering wheel and don't rush to the center at the beginning of the battle. The first approach, we'll call it cautious tactics, consists in capturing key area C and gradually pushing the enemy northwest to the group of islands in the upper left part of the map and then taking area B. In this case, battleships will be able to focus on firing at the enemy without having to look back and move their slow turrets from one side to the other. The second approach is more aggressive. Your team's light forces swiftly head to the islands to capture key area A. Meanwhile, battleships cover their attack and watch for enemies at Area B. By capturing Area A, you will guarantee a regular supply of domination points, as it's much easier to defend this zone afterwards. But this won't be enough to win, so the surviving light forces should get out of cover and take part in the battle for the center. To sum it up, Okinawa is a map with very different parts, which allows you to use different playstyles depending on the team's lineup. The tempo of battle will depend on the zone and the ships engaged there. Most importantly, evaluate your strength carefully and watch what players next to you are doing. More battle modes will become available on this map in the future. Go for it, captains, and until next time.